meteorologist Jamie Warner. You know, on a day like today, you wouldn't think that we were in for cold weather tomorrow. We are, though. Right now, though, we're still south of the cold air. 57 degrees outside right now. Winds out of the southwest at 7 miles per hour. Here's a look at the high temperatures. Just incredible. Today was the warmest day that we've seen since the middle of October, topping out in the 70s across southern Missouri and northern Arkansas. Warmest reading down in Harrison at 77. We weren't too far behind here in Springfield at 75, and that's only a few degrees off the record high of 78 for today's date here in Springfield, Missouri. Conditions outside right now, again, mild and quiet with increasing clouds. We're not finding any wet weather just yet. I do expect to see showers. Beginning to blossom across eastern Kansas later on this evening, and then that activity will spread east into the area. So we are in for wet weather after midnight, especially closer to sunrise on Monday. To our north, we see snow uh, from Nebraska across Iowa. Uh, the scenario that we're looking at right now, it features two different fronts. The first front is actually draped just north of Highway 60 here in Missouri. There's really not a whole lot of cold air behind that front, although things will cool off a little bit as it pushes south across the area. The truly cold air is located behind an Arctic front, which is located to our north. And you can see the, the real drop in temperatures. Once you get north of I-70, readings drop not only into the 30s and 20s, but we've even got teens across the Dakotas and Minnesota. And it's that Arctic air, that Arctic attack, which will be uh, attacking our area tomorrow morning. For tonight, though, again, uh, just expecting uh, those clouds to thicken up. Showers coming in later tonight. Nothing frozen, though. That holds off until after sunrise on Monday. Here's our hour by hour forecast. I've included the temperatures. Now, these are model projections, but I think they're doing a pretty good job. It looks like for the overnight, again, readings are not going to get terribly cold. Dropping through the 50s and 40s, we start. Monday off at 7 o'clock with readings above freezing, showers across the area. Notice here in Springfield it's in the upper 30s, but temperatures will quickly drop through mid morning. We're going to be hovering just above the freezing mark here in Springfield, and it looks like that light rain will already be changing over to a light icy mix to our north, up toward areas like Stockton and Lake of the Ozarks. The freezing line will continue to plunge. By 11 o'clock in the morning, it looks like it'll be located south of I-44. We should be below freezing here in Springfield with some light freezing rain or uh, freezing drizzle. And then that will try to switch over, I think, to freezing drizzle and some sleet by early afternoon on Monday with a transition over to a little light snow or snow flurries, probably by 2 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon here in Springfield. That snow should shut down from northwest to southeast across the area Monday evening. And again, then we turn our attention to just how low it goes. And we will find very cold readings to start off the day on Tuesday. Also, very gusty winds with this. Arctic air invasion. We're going to have gusts topping 30 miles per hour, and that's going to drive wind chills down into the teens tomorrow afternoon and into the single digits tomorrow night. So we've got some wintry weather, but we've also got, again, some dangerously cold conditions, especially for early to mid November. Here's a look at what I'm expecting. Again, rain to an icy mix later in the morning, an icy mix to light snow early to mid afternoon, a light glaze with maybe a dusting to one inch of snowfall. Now, I say one inch, but I think there is going to be at least some possibility that there could be a few bands that try to set up tomorrow afternoon, and we could see totals maybe a little over an inch in spots. I'll be watching for that. Uh, it looks like roads are going to stay in good shape. Road temperatures are very warm right now, and they're not going to fall fast enough for it to be a problem tomorrow afternoon. But bridges and overpasses could get slick, at least if they're not treated. So we'll be watching that. Very cold for Tuesday. We stay below freezing for the high temperature, but temperatures do moderate the rest of the week. I walked my dog wearing shorts today. I saw the park where I, near where I live was just packed with people. Everybody was outside. People had their air conditioners on today. 73 today, 15 Tuesday morning. How about that for a How change? How about that? All right. We're coming up here.